Hey guys, welcome back to Pine Top Jackson. Today is April 8th, 2024. It's the day of the solar eclipse. My buddy Matt and I both managed to get the day off work and uh, we figured what better way to celebrate a rare celestial event in the city of Detroit than the rooftop of an abandoned factory. The spot we chose for our solar eclipse bando rooftop viewing party was the Grand Trunk Cold Storage Warehouse. Grand Trunk was the name of a Canadian railway that started in 1859. They laid tracks through Detroit in 1879. This cold storage warehouse sits on the Detroit to Pontiac line. It was built in 1927. This article from a 1927 edition of the Detroit Times states that it was designed by New York City architectural firm Moores and Dunfield. There's evidence that multiple companies used the building for shipping, receiving, and storage. You can see Beatrice Foods painted here in ancient lettering. On one floor, we found piles and piles of paperwork and documents. This folder contains invoices with letterheads reading Arctic Cold Storage, as well as Grand Trunk Warehouse, all of them dated 1989. The building has been abandoned since 2002. Since then, it has become sort of a museum showcasing graffiti and street art, some ancient, some recent. Great art. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of gives me alien vibes. Chest burster. <laughs> But there's still graffiti on the dirt floors that are really cool. Sounds like cookies. Oh, yeah. That's the top of the elevator? The higher floors have no windows, but some good pieces can still be found. Artists here work by flashlight and torchlight. On some floors, we found pallets of food, shipments that were never made. Sat so long, they don't even smell anymore. Yeah, it was supposed to be out of here on Friday. <laughs> Brown and serve rolls. Different shapes. Peaches, summer peaches. Store is zero. Do not drop. They're all empty. 
any uh, vermin or any creatures that lived in here right. bit through every single one. Well, all, all the bats. The bats yeah. All of them. Or the rats. Right. Are yeah. <laughs> Could be raccoons too. Well, the pallets they were stored on. Right. Doesn't it say do not stack though? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, and we found some bats. Yes. I heard them squeak now. Yeah, dude. They're freaking out because of our lights. Our lights, yeah. Dude, that was dope. <laughs> they flew like right in between me and her. Wow. That was cool as fuck. No shit. That's crazy. Bats live in like, cold trunks. Like me and her both saw something. Like, yeah. That was guaranteed. And then they're like, wait a minute. Now, I saw like, something when we first came into yeah. this floor. I thought I did, but I didn't hear anything. And I thought, Neither did I. I but thought when it, was... it flew in between us, I didn't hear shit either. Yeah. I'm like, am I tripping? Like, am I freaking out? Like, yeah, it was weird that we didn't hear it fly yeah. by. Like, I just saw something out of the corner of my eye. They oh, move God. on silent wings. Right? Hell yeah, fucking sneaked up on me. Like, Dude, oh, they flew right <laughs> between us. Like, that was fucking crazy. I'm here staring at this fucking... The spider. Oh, wow. Look at those webs. Those are thick. Yeah, here it is. Right? Freaking Australia in here. Right? <laughs> Got bats and giant spiders. Dude, that was fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm kind of weird about that I wasn't scared. <laughs> like, it, it, like, it should have bothered me a little more than this. <laughs> you know, you're just hanging out with the Yeah, house. I'm How many stories is this? You know, I totally remember. We got to the rooftop to prepare for the eclipse. Hello, Detroit. Detroit lies just outside the path of totality. Many of our friends drove down to Toledo, but we thought 99% totality, coupled with an abandoned industrial rooftop and no traffic, let's just stay in Detroit. We originally planned to watch the eclipse from the water tower, but the walkway was so narrow up there and the angle wasn't great, so we went back down to the flat roof. The last solar eclipse I experienced was in 2017. We were living in Washington State near Tacoma, and man, it got dark. We must have had 100% totality there. It wasn't that extreme for us here in Detroit. The sky got way darker for our friends down in Ohio. Cra crazy how just a fraction of a percent away from totality makes such a huge difference. But regardless, we did experience some drop in temperature, we saw a little bit of darkness, and we saw the eclipse with our glasses. It doesn't matter if we didn't get a good photo of it. The 2024 solar eclipse bando rooftop viewing party was good fun with good friends. After the eclipse, I climbed the water tower again for some high vantage point photos. And then I went ahead and climbed anything else I could find. I was in the spirit. Of course, I captured footage of it all, so I'll share that here at the end. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.